got a bit of train track here. Should we put that in? There's something heavy hidden here. I need to move the planks to get it. Oh, underneath the floorboards. Can I use that? this. If I can untie the knots on the bag, I can drop it down into the barrel outside. Oops. Peter's rage has been growing all this time. I understand his plans now. This has to end. Emily Lynch, married, no kids, lives with her husband on a fifth floor apartment. At 8.15 they leave for work and reach their office by 9. They don't leave the office for lunch and they get it delivered. At 6.15 they drive back home, arriving by 7. They're together all the time. The only time Emily is alone without her husband is on the Saturdays from 5.45 to 6 a.m. when she leaves home early in the morning and meets a friend for a jog. I have about 15 minutes every Saturday to grab her. Wow. Rosie Parker, married two kids, a boy and a girl, has a house in an expensive neighbourhood. At eight, she says goodbye to her husband before he leaves for work. Rosie waves to him and goes back inside. At twelve, she goes to a gym. At twelve fifteen, she enters the gym and begins her workout. At one forty-five, she leaves the gym and walks back home. At two, she enters the house and remains there until her husband comes home at six. She opens the door and they enter the house together. The best time to take her will be between 12 and 12.15 12 when she's on her way home, on her way to the gym, or from 1.45 to 2 when she's walking back home. Sheila Green, she lives in the house at 8, leaves the house at 8.30 a.m. She walks to work, dropping by a store on the way for bread. At 9 she arrives at Bulgaria Beauty Saloon. Where she works at 1 p.m., she leaves the salon and walks to the cafe across the street for lunch. She reads a fashion magazine after lunch. At 2, she walks back to the salon. At 7, she leaves the salon and walks home. At 7.30, she enters her apartment building, walks to the third floor and enters her apartment. Thursday to Sunday, her boyfriend comes at 9 and the, t and the two go out. Monday to Wednesday she spends the evening alone. Best time to kidnap her will be Monday to Wednesday between 7.20 and 7.30 near her house. Whoa. Oh, got an emerald. I think all the bits yet. All of the coloured cogs are paired, but there's no red cog. Um, no red cog. Oh, for here, we need one then. Right, okay. Um, oh, what's that? A liver. The barriers blocking the train. I need to raise it. Oh, that goes up there. The barriers blocking the train. I need to raise it. Oh. Got that. Thank you. Anything else? What is that? Cabinet handle. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. That heavy sack done the trick. Duck feather hourglass.
butterfly ball hook. Bug buttons. Oh, bug buttons. No, can I pick them up? Oh, they're nuts. Buttons. Copper ball. Cat key patch. Cat. Where's the cat? Key and hook. Key and hook. Where's the copper ball? Key and hook. There's the hook. And a Hmm. No, can't lift anything up. Key. Go on, key. Where are you? Oh, that's a bit of boot. Key. Hiding well. Sitting there. And coffee grinder? No. Under the hat? No. Key. A picture of a key then, rather than a, a, a key itself. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Can't find it. Hello, if a lump, pink one. Can I blow that football up? No, can't blow it up. Oops, can't go down too far. Ah, uh, move a cushion? No. Oops, on the side of that brick, I can't see the top bit. Well, it wasn't a key. I clicked on it just in case. A key. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I can't be that old. Where? That's a spanner. <coughs> okay. Never mind. Can I uh, use that down there? Ah. Oh. oh no. Oops. Oh, I don't think that was an accident. Congratulations, Kelly Wales. Your investigation has hit a dead end. Oh. tool out of this bone and some other stuff. I need to find something uh, made of iron. That. Okay. Um, cloth. I need to fasten it somehow. Yeah, I'm, I can't pick up the rope. Motor belt? Belt? Yep. Anything else of use? No. Let's have a bash here. As long as I don't drown, as long as I don't fill up water. No. Um, <clears throat> now I've got to try and stay on top of it. Wow. Ah, hidden object. Monkey flower cube. Gotcha. Gotcha. Loco. Yeah. Bow. I remember seeing one. Oh yeah. Ah, do that in a minute. Crown. Star. Straw ball. Flask. Oh, flask. Flask. Cog. Hmm. And a ball. Gotcha. Bow. Why won't it let me pick up the bow? Um. Star. What's on there? Flask. I picked up the ball. Uh, cock. I pick up this bow yet? No. Is there another bow? Oh dear. Cock. Perhaps it's been mislabeled again. Excuse me while I click everything. What's the flask? Oh, there's the cock. Can I pick it up? Of course I can't. <coughs> oh, let me jump. Oh, let's try the nails, the ladybird, violin. 
violin bow. Yes. Iron. Elephant. Calls the wire spring. Cog. Perhaps it's the wrong cog. There's a big one over there. Belt. Is there another type of cog? Oh. Ah. It's the one of the jewelry ones. Uh, what's that in here? <coughs> Where was it? Don't think it was here. side discs with the cogs until the tiles of matching colours link with those on the central disc. Ah, lovely. A rubber boat. Um, what have I got here? Door handle. Let's go and do the door handle. Up. 
that gives another key. There you go. Turn the handles to make them all horizontal. Well, that didn't work, did it? Now they're all vertical. soldier. Scissors. Wheel. Beads. Fly. Locomotive. Bow tie. Bow tie? Where? Can you move stuff? Got a switch before the train set. 